Hi, I'm Ryan McCord. And I'm Andy Sims. We're students from the Guildhall at SMU, Cohort 16, and today we're going to be talking about getting you set up to write Unreal Script in Visual Studio. You're going to need two things before we get started. The first is a professional copy of Visual Studio or the free integrated mode Visual Studio. You're also going to need a copy of Infringe which is a third-party developed piece of software that allows you to have assistance for Unreal Script and Visual Studio. Let's go look at how to get Infringe. You can actually just Google Infringe and it takes you to this. You can actually go straight to their website and they have it all set up in a sort of wiki format. You'll, you, can, you can get the integrated mode version of Visual Studio here you could also go to the releases page and get Infringe if you already have a professional copy of Visual Studio ready. And so you pretty much just download Infringe, install it, open up Visual Studio, and activate the license. If you're developing commercially, then you definitely have to pay for Infringe. But if you're a student or you're developing for non-commercial use, then you don't have to pay for Infringe and you can activate the license automatically. Let's go on and look at getting started and getting set up in Visual Studio to write Unreal Script. So to start, we're going to create a Visual Studio project. To do this, you'll go File, New, Project, and this will open up the New Project window. If you're in Visual Studio Professional, you'll see a ton of projects here on the left-hand side, but we just want Unreal Script, and more specifically, the Unreal Engine 3 licensee project template. You want to make sure you name your project something very specific to the code that you're going to be putting into it. This is the name at which UDK uses to package your scripts and is the package name, the package folder of your code. So let's name it something more specific to the package. Make sure that you're installing this folder to the development source directory of your UDK directory. Also, don't check the Create Directory for Solution box. This will mess up the directory structure of your code, and UDK will be unable to find your scripts for compiling. Go ahead and hit OK. And on the right-hand side, you'll now see your project. We need to start setting up the directory structure because UDK expects all the source files to be in a classes folder. So you want to right click the project and do add new directory and name it classes. This is where all your Unreal Script files will be located in. So now that your project and directories are set up, we want to go ahead and, and edit the properties for the project. So to edit the properties of your project, you're going to go to the project, right click it, select properties, and now it brings up the project properties window. It has all these different tabs on the left. We're going to go through those each one at a time. Let's start with the general tab. The target game is going to be the Unreal Engine 3 mod. We don't have a full version of Unreal Tournament 3 on here and the Unreal Engine 3 licensee isn't for us because we don't have the full Unreal Engine 3 with source code. We're just using the UDK so we want to use an Unreal Engine 3 mod. The compiler is, right, th this is the path at which UDK is going to compile your scripts. It's actually the executable that compiles and runs your scripts when you hit the compile and run button. This is going to be located in your UDK directory, which is on your C drive if you installed it to the default. And you go to the version, binaries, Win32, and here you'll find two executables. There's the udk.com, which is the DOS application, and the udk.exe, which is the standalone application. The .com is actually going to be faster and more useful for us because we're just debugging, executing, and compiling scripts. We're not actually running the game from this path. So we want to select the udk.com or the DOS uh, application. This is going to be the source path at which Infringe uses for all of its IntelliSense and syntax highlighting advantages. So we definitely want to make sure we get this right. This is located in the development source folder. 
it's a folder, remember, not an application. So once you get to the source folder, just select folder, and Windows puts these dot dots here as a way of just indexing into the folder really quickly. It's a relative path instead of an absolute path. Let's go on to build events. Build events aren't really useful for us right now because we don't have any build events, but some really advanced topics you could do are say you wanted to copy your any files over to a config folder in your project, you could actually have build events that recopy them over to their original spot in the UDK game folder. But we're not going to worry about that right now. Let's go on to the build tab. So in the build tab, you want to start by going to the configuration and select all configurations for debug and release mode. We want to make so that we build our debug scripts and we include any unpublished scripts in the build. So we're going to ch check both of these boxes. <clears throat> unpublished scripts may be uh, compiled, but they may not be cooked. And so this is going to be important for when we get to our installer. And you'll see that in another video. <clears throat> this command line is what allows us to actually compile our scripts. And so we want to add these two tags, debug and, un and use unpublished. If you checked both these boxes, they should be added. But if they're not, just make sure. And so you'll notice that the udk.com application is here from our, generals, from our general tab. So this is what the command line uses to actually compile our scripts. Let's go over to the debug tab now. The debug tab talks about where, how we're going to actually run our application. So make sure you're in all configurations still, and we need to go find that executable that we could have used for our UDK uh, compiler. So go to the version, binaries, Win32, and select the UDK application. It's udk.exe, actually, if you just want to type it in and the other one is the udk.com file. So once you have this selected, you want to make sure that you're uh, disabling sound if you want. Disable startup movies because that's actually going to take a lot of time out of your, uh, your testing and compiling. Uh, make sure you enable unpublished mods. Like we talked about with the scripts, we want to make sure we're, co we're uh, compiling and running anything that's not cooked but we still want to use and you can force it to windowed mode so that you can shrink it and uh, actually move the window around that's going to be really useful and you can specify the size here you want in pixels so you also want to make sure you open the log window at a certain and this position is up to your choice but the log window is kind of your debugger essentially when you're running the game it allows you to uh, to print messages to the log from the Unreal script and that's going to be really important when you start debugging some really hard examples. Also, make sure that the log is turned on by adding the log uh, tag and the additional options. So now, you're pretty much ready to start debugging and running your Unreal script. If you have a map, you can click load map at startup and type in the map you want of the package. If you have Unreal Tournament 3 maps uh, in your UDK installation, which you should, you can actually go to the death, if you want to load the deathmatch map, DM deck is a good map if you're deriving from any Unreal Tournament game types. Also, if you want to start with a specified game type, you can load in uh, the package name dot game type. And so if we had a game type in ours, we would say, tutorial package dot and then the game type we extended from and so it's package dot game type and so what this does is it creates a uh, command line uh, so that you can run your your specified game type on a certain map and that's really important when you start deriving and extending classes from already uh, uh, created ones in Unreal Script and so that concludes setting up Unreal Script in a Visual Studio environment with, with InFringe.